welcome everybody to our second live talk for today. As I already said two minutes ago, we're going to talk about an interesting new particle foam for packaging applications. And I'm very happy to have Mr. Oliver Schädel with me. He's the managing director of Jakob Formschauntechnik and uh, our colleague from BASF, Bangaru Sampat who is working in the field of biodegradable polymers. And actually, he's the co-inventor of this material that we're going to talk about today. So Oliver, first question goes to you. Jakob Form Technik, what does your company do? What's your business? Yes, basically, we're a particle foam converter. The Schädel company uh, is uh, there's actually six different uh, production units over two continents. Uh, we convert uh, particle foam uh, for many different applications. So you will find our customers, you will find in automotive, you'll find them in packaging, uh, in uh, medical area, in um, HVAC area as well. So, um, and, and you're, I can say that you're, you must be kind of a pioneering company because you are daring enough to use this new product that maybe Bangaro, you can talk a little bit more about EcoVOEA. Sure. Uh, thanks, Richard. Um, today we are very, very excited to launch uh, this new particle foam. This is EcoVio EA. This is the first expandable particle foam in the market that contains very high bio-based content and fully compostable. Yeah? Uh, so this product we offer as an extension of uh, BSF uh, foam product portfolio in addition to EPS and EPP. Uh, basically, this EcoVio is uh, made out of uh, a BS of polyester, Ecoflex, and uh, bio-based uh, polylactic acid, PLA. Both, are, both PLA and Ecoflex are fully compostable. So we are very excited to launch this product today. Yeah? Um, Oliver, Bangaru just described some of the product benefits. So um, was this kind of also the basis for your decision to go for that new product? Or what, what's your stake in it? The basis for this decision to use this product um, you'll find in our strategy of our company. So we are a, a, a small, well, a medium-sized family business, and family business does not work on quarterly results. So what we're looking for is looking into generations. Yeah? Uh, so if you look into the generations, we're very well aware of our social and, uh, and uh, um, environmental um, responsibilities that we have. And uh, also, our strategy is uh, based on sustainability. So looking at this product, it's perfect yeah. for our strategy. And looking at the product um, as well, when we come to our customers, the customers in the foam industry, especially in the packaging industry, they have come to us for a, a certain request. Can you produce a foam that uh, is away from the oil industry uh, more to a bio-based product and also when you look at end of life um, is it possible to have um, a compostable and also a recyclable product that was the reason and that's why I think this is a future product okay. very interesting uh, apart from the um, from the fact of it being biodegradable compostable Bangal, you also stress the word expendable yeah. Can you, what, what's behind that why is that important Good that you noted this term, yeah. Actually, I stress the term expandable here because uh, this is an ecovia is an expandable base. That means it contains blowing agent that it can keep it for a very long time, at least for six months. So the benefit is the customer or the converter can store the granulate as long as they want. And at any time, they can take out and form to all desired densities at any time. And uh, like just applying steam, they can expand to all densities, and they can shape mold all complex shapes. So it is an, we, this product offers full flexibility to our converters in terms of processing. Yeah? And most importantly, our converters can use the existing machineries, yeah? the EPS or EPP machineries, to process this EcoVio. It is a pure drop-in solution for our customer. I think this, this must be important for you too, right? Yes, that was the most uh, important factor to move quickly here. So we're pioneering here. We were supporting and also we had a lot of support from BASF here. But uh, the most important factor to move quickly was we could use our existing machinery. The only thing we need to adapt is the tooling. Okay. So the, the, this material has a different shrinkage rate than the material we use currently. 
and uh, we had to um, uh, change that. Uh, the tooling approach is slightly different. Okay. Um, one, one more question to you, Bangor. Yes. I, I have no background in compostable uh, polymers, biodegradable polymers. So if I imagine this, this box, yeah. Yeah, if I have my new iPhone wrapped in this box, yeah. will it kind of compost in front of my eyes <laughs> if I just wait until the iPhone 9 or 10 is out? Come on, come on. No worries, nothing will happen at the ambient room temperature. Actually, this foam is an industrial compostable. Yeah? That means I'm like in four to five weeks, it completely disintegrates into water, CO2, and biomass. Yeah? Uh, so for this biodegradation or this compostability to happen, you need three factors. You need microorganism, you need high temperature and high humidity. If one thing is missing, yeah, nothing happens. Yeah? So no worries, you can ship and I'm like, you can pack your iPhone in this box and it will reach you safe. But how long does it take under the right conditions? Yeah, as I said, it takes uh, only four to five weeks okay. in an anaerobic, aerobic condition, it disintegrates completely. Yeah. I can imagine that this solution might be uh, a little more pricey, uh, for example, than other solutions. So what kind of applications would you be looking in? Is it kind of a... Um, very valuable product packaging or what industries are you looking at? Yes, we, you would be looking at uh, products which are highly sensitive. So the most requests and feedback we have from customers are in the area of um, transportation, one way, uh, electronic goods, heavy. Uh, so we're looking at uh, packaging um, for uh, a durable and also high impact. So multiple impact would, uh, is, is one of the, uh, the good things that I can uh, state here that the customers are looking for. Okay. Thank you. Bangaru, last, last question goes out to you. Sure. Uh, today, now you're launching this product. Basically, as of today, what are your expectations for the future? Yes, I mean, first of all, our expectation is to get business. Yeah, more business and uh, like you know, uh, uh, Jakob is the pioneer and they are close to bring this product into the market and uh, yeah, we are getting very great response uh, from the industry from different segments mainly from packaging segments also records coming from building and construction so I want to stress currently we don't have any flame retardant in this product so uh, we don't know about also the long-term stability but this product is purely designed for packaging application I mean that means I mean like it is more elastic uh, that means it absorbs energy very good and the resilience also great. Uh, even during a multiple impact, heavy impact, the product uh, sustains. Yeah? And um, it is uh, very resistant to heat and to wide range of solvents. Yeah? And most importantly, the insulation property. Yeah? It is as good as EPS, very good insulation property. And um, last but not least, it's fully compostable. Yeah. That's it then. That's the most important item. So we don't have four or five weeks to watch it biodegrade, especially not under these conditions, but we still have a bit of time to check out this material until we have our next live talk at 3 p.m. Gentlemen, thank you very much for this interesting discussion and see you later today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.